good afternoon to everyone and the jury. Uh, right now, I am here to present uh, my review on estimation of postmortem interval by using histological analysis. So, uh, histology plays a crucial role uh, when it comes to forensic examinations. Uh, the most commonly used stain when, when we talk about histology, it is all about the stain which plays a very important role. So, the most commonly used stain is HNE, that is a hematoxylin eosin stain. Forensic histopathology uh, is an application of histological techniques and knowledge. The pathology is a field that deals with examination of death when applied to forensics to solve cases. Now, uh, this is a small timeline which I have prepared in which uh, there is a, uh, like, uh, when it is 1962, a research paper was published in which comparative study of reduction of rate and dehydration in heat dissipation and metabolism of the body tissue. Then later on, when it comes to 1999, uh, there is a little bit of advancement in the research. Then the step-by-step, -step, there is a little bit of advancement which is uh, being taken place in the session. Then uh, the application of forensic histopathology, uh, uh, in the application of forensics uh, histopathology is an application of knowledge of histology and pathology to know the cause of death, personal identification, examination of injury and estimation of post-mortem interval. In other words, to estimate the time loss after death till the uh, dead body is examined by the forensic medicine expert. Examination of PMI is important as it, as it has a time frame which can help identification of human remains and aid the investigation for the progress in solving cases. Currently, practicing methods are uh, algor mortars, rigor mortars, biochemical changes in blood, and uh, cerebrospinal fluid analysis. Then, um, various pathological conditions which can lead to histological changes uh, can be uh, various pathological analysis uh, can affect the histological changes when we relate it to PMI cause of death and examination of the injury. So uh, the things which I have taken into consideration is the types of manner of death which can be considered when it comes to histological analysis. It is if there is a death caused due to trauma, death by drug abuse, heat, fire, gases, electricity, lightning, and radiation. So in trauma, the tissue injury is separate from bleeding association associated with internal trauma. Attention should also be given to the internal organ damage. Um, Hosman uh, once mentioned in, in his study that hemorrhages can be seen macroscopically and occasionally microscopically, such as intra and subcutaneous hemorrhages, uh, contusion hemorrhage, hemorrhage due to natural cause, including esophageal hemorrhages related to alcohol. Then other histological uh, discoveries were also made in the writing incorporated incidental uh, clean, uh, cleansers, no, especially in the hepatic veins and endocardium, where, while comparable arrangements happen on the screen, on the skin. Uh, then uh, when it comes to drug abuse, then uh, consumption of drugs in case of acute manner, chronic manner, uh, which leads to uh, death. Then these consumptions are also uh, can be found due to histological analysis, and uh, some of them are being described among heart, lung, liver tissues, which are uh, which are as well as called heroin associated nephrotypes. Uh, histomorphology findings in CNS are generally called immunohistochemical methods, as uh, drugs related findings are observed often and but not visible by performing conventional staining. Initial investigations were able to show a considerable increase in the pulmonary alveolar cap uh, capillary under the influence of heroin, along with the loss of albumin in edema fluid. Then uh, these are two images uh, which uh, I have found in case like um, if there is a uh, cocaine, crack cocaine user, how uh, are his uh, macrophages found and uh, Prominent carbon pigmented in intraalveolar macrophages. Then, uh, when it comes to heat, electricity, lightning, radiation, and gases, uh, the effect of heat, electricity, radiation, and burn injuries, which are considered by an open fire, hot air, and inhalation of hazardous gases, leads to lethal course and uh, lethal course and partly be detected microscopically. 
the pulmonary changes which are followed by heat and fire are observed in the histological investigation for a longer period of time. Electrical injuries leave mark on skins and can even directly damage the myocardium. In lightning cases, the injuries include striated skin and organ damage in between the site of entry and in the site of exit of the lightning. The effect of heat and open fire on the organism which, uh, which leads to severe injuries can, uh, that can lead to death. A massive attack of the cells and the cellular decay products may lead to acute kidney failure, which can be detected histologically by observing the protein cylinders in the renal tubules of the kidney. Damage caused on the skin is categorized depending on the depth of the injury. So uh, in final discussion, I would just like to put up a few points. They are unlike all other aspects, which include surgical pathology, forensic pathology, uh, for determining the cause and manner of death and to provide validated information for legal committee. In the same way as it helps the medical stream, its application in forensics may help in estimation of cause and manner of death and, and play a crucial role for primary scientific evidence for judiciary in any kind of criminal cases. In future, histology will, help, will be very helpful for identification of any disorders that occur at the tissue level and to develop facts to treat diseases. There, there are many areas of interest which can have a stronger laboratory which includes biomedical experts, technicians, histological experts. When involving forensic investigations, it helps in understanding and unexplained deaths. Histological methods ensure good laboratory practice and yield proper results for analysis performed for both medical and medical legal aspects. Thank you.